Hi everybody, it's me again. I just want to uh, start off by saying uh, thank you so much to Mr. Gerard Morin, uh, who uh, showed me what uh, energy, power, electricity is all about. Thank you, thank you so much. And to all his uh, followers and listeners out there. Um, I know he did also too, he was showing over Unity, I'm going to show you over Unity also too. Um, yes, thank you very much Mr. Gerard Morin. Okay, so in my previous videos I've shown you that the system, the fuelless generator that I have over here, I ran it from the wall, it started from the wall and I powered the, um, the fuelless generator and it was powering. Okay. So you can either run it from the wall and use 100 watts or 200 watts and you can get whatever your generator is capable of handling, either a 1000 watt generator, 2000, 3000, 4000, 5000, 6000 watt generator. I only have a 950 watt generator so I'm starting off with that. Okay, so I'm going to run it. I mean it's uh, plugged into the battery, the battery is hooked up to the inverter and the VFD, this VFD is plugged uh, it's coming out and the cord is going to the inverter 3000 watt inverter so the VFD is only going to be powered by the inverter which is uh, connected to the battery which that's with the controller I believe it's 400 watts or 200 watts whatever it's going to be it's used by the battery then the output of the generator, well we're going to hook up about 570 watts to it. Remember it's 950 watt generator max. So you don't really want to go 950 watts because it's only capable of doing 950 watts. You never want to, you never really want to actually push it to its full capacity. You always want to run it to, uh, you know, about 500. I'm going to use 507. So if you got a 3000 watt generator, you, you want to run maybe 2000 watts. If you got a 4,000 watt generator, then you only want to run about 3,000, and so on, so on, so on. Same with the inverters. The inverters go the same way too. If you got a 3,000 watt inverter, well, you only want to run about maybe 2,000 watts. Okay. If you want to have 6,000 watts of power, well, then set up a 6,000 watt generator system that I got, fuelless generator, and then another one. So that way you got 12,000 watts of power. And you can use 6,000 watts. You know what I mean? You can do the math. If, if you want to use your 15,000 watts, well, set up three of the 6,000 watt systems. So that way you got, what is it, uh, 12, 13, 14, you got 15,000 watts of power, and you're going to be using about 9,000 watts. Okay? So do the math right there. So I'm going to show you basically that I'm going to start, I'm going to turn on the inverter, I'm going to turn on the inverter, and the inverter is only powered once again. The only sole purpose of the inverter is to uh, um, actually turn on the VFD controller and the VFD will actually turn on which will spin the motor which in turn will spin the generator and then we're going to start hooking up actually power to the output of the uh, generator which is right here. It's got two outputs. It's got a DC output that goes to the battery that will charge the battery and then the output AC output that's connected to the power bar. Now we got 750 I mean 570 watts of power total that we're going to be using. And remember it's only 950 watts, right? Okay, so let's get on with the test and let's uh, let's push, let's let's begin. And uh, the battery is showing it got a multimeter I hooked up to that, it's showing 1273. Okay? And then we'll see also to the in the indicator of the uh, 3000 watt inverter. We'll see what it's actually using from the um, the VFD. And we're going to be going up to about 60 hertz, which is about 3600 RPM with the VFD. So I'm going to begin, okay? I'm going to actually start this. i got to turn on this transfer switch, homemade transfer switch, which basically you can run it through the wall, right? 120 is hooked up to the wall with another cord. This cord right here, you can plug it into the wall. And this one's going straight to the uh, janitor, either the inverter, right? Either way, you can transfer switch. You can actually start off with the wall, the wall, and then all of a sudden just switch over to the inverter if you want to, right? You can either run it, you know, two-way. So let's do it. 
but my bat my, and my battery's showing green again. I mean red. I'm freaking real. Hey, the inverter is on. Inverter is on. And this is on. Okay. So we're gonna turn it on and we're gonna start it. Here kick in. Lights are on. There we go. Generators on, running. It's running these uh, 300, 300 watts, 150, 150 watts a piece. That's so 300 right there, right? The fan is coming on also too. That's another 40, and the drill. Let's drill. Okay. It's 11 3, 11 9 1. I'm tuning up the, uh, I'm tuning the, uh, I'm tuning the VFD. So, right, the fuelless generator, look, 440 watts running right now from the inverter. And the fan's going, and the two lights are going from the generator, along with the drill. The drill. Fans going, lights on. Sixty hertz. Seven eight eight. Water to go to. Well, there we go. Well, so that's our fifty hertz. And the machine is nice and cool. It's just a little warm, not really hot. It's just, it's just a little warm. But yeah, lights are on, right? We need to go to 60 hertz. We hear a beep, beep, beep. How long would this last, you ask? Fans going. Remember, watch this. I could plug this back into the uh, into the outlet of the wall and transfer the power over to the wall. Now it's running by the wall. It's no longer running by the inverter. As you can see, look, the inverter has it's not showing no power now. I mean, no 
water yeast. Now it's running from the wall. So what I did was I switched it from the wall to here. To actually uh, from the wall back over. So I can switch it back and forth from either the wall or the inverter. Using 570 watts. With the fan. Or I can switch it back over to the inverter. Back over to the inverter with the transfer switch. So now we're, yeah, now we're back over to the inverter. It's beeping, yeah, it's beeping. Right? It says it's using 490, 480 at 61 hertz. Now you don't hear no more beeping. You don't hear no beeping. And that's at 59.1. 59.1. So, I was, so I'm using 440 and I'm getting 570 watts in total. And this is by, from the inverter now. Okay, from the inverter. Now I'm going to switch it back over to the wall. Back over to the wall. Alright? Back over to the wall. And remember, I can still plug the I can still plug stuff into the inverter. Right? Now watch this. Oh I gotta do is turn the radio on. And now, and, and now I'm running more stuff from the inverter, from the wall, right? Because I can plug more stuff into the inverter. So I'm running from the generator, I'm powering stuff from the generator, and I'm powering also from the inverter, right? No, that's a 3,000 watt inverter. I can still power about at least 1,000 watts from that inverter, right? Thousand. Plus what I'm running, and I'm only using what I'm using from the very uh, from the uh, uh, from the the inverter. Let's switch back over to the inverter. Now we're using from the inverter, 440 watts. Now let's.